Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of VMware Explorer 2022. Today, we have the pleasure of having Andrew Parlay, who is the CTO at Triceret. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Not too bad. Maybe you can start by giving us uh, kind of a quick overview of the company and what you guys do. Sure. Uh, yeah, like you said, I'm Andrew Parlett, Triceret CTO. Uh, and Triceret was founded in 1997, so celebrating our 25th year in business this year, which is quite exciting. Uh, and really, over that time, we've developed a set of tools specifically around printing and scanning and targeted at the, um, the issues surrounding print management within the remote desktop environments. And there's quite a few. So it might be VDI or terminal server, uh, VMware, Microsoft, Citrix, all these different uh, technologies and platforms. Um, and as, as users are connecting in and using a variety of these platforms, we're delivering solutions to really make that uh, straightforward, easy, and reliable for them. And then of course, for the administrators, we're really focused on uh, making their job efficient and uh, really simplifying things for a topic that can be very complex. And certainly, you know, initially it might be, oh, we're just adding a few printers, but as things scale up and as you have these different platforms, complexity always comes into play. So we're looking at a set of solutions really to minimize that, make their job efficient, um, and give them a set of tools that are intelligent and dynamic to really make the solutions they're delivering to their end users even better. And as we're here at the uh, VMware Explore event, maybe you can talk a little bit how your company partners with or works with VMware and the ecosystem. So Tricert is a VMware Alliance partner. And so we have been, uh, I think, 15 years, so quite a while that we've worked alongside of VMware and their solutions. Uh, so really a couple of different ways. Number one is, obviously, VMware very well known for their virtualization infrastructure. Uh, we don't directly tie to that, but so many of our customers leverage that as kind of that foundational piece of their virtualization um, strategy. Um, so deploying uh, Windows virtual desktops or other kind of VDI technologies, and then the connection methods into those um, are certainly ways that we interact. Uh, Triceret is very much an EUC solution provider, and so uh, within that EUC space, VMware has uh, Horizon, uh, now on Horizon 8. And so for customers using VMware Horizon as their VDI platform, uh, we interact with that very closely. And so uh, within that Windows desktop, we're managing print and scan there. We're also interacting with the virtual channels that are created in the protocols using be it RDP, P server IP. Now they have blast. Um, and so we make sure we interact and, and we always validate our solutions across uh, the different VMware um, software products. And maybe we can talk a little bit more about what your company offers uh, a VMware shop or a VMware implementation. Um, you know, what kind of problems do you solve for VMware? Yeah, well, so I, I mentioned generically us trying to simplify and uh, make an admin's job more efficient. Uh, but to get a little more specific about that, you know, there's a couple areas that that comes into play. Number one, uh, driver management um, can always be a real hassle. And that means a few different things. So, uh, you know, you need a print driver somewhere that could either be on a print server uh, or um, in our product, you can actually have that driver uh, installed and, and managed through our database. Where the hassle comes in normally without a solution like, like Triceret screwdrivers is that an admin has to get those drivers out to every virtual desktop, every physical desktop, the client endpoints, all of these different locations. And when, when those drivers have to go out far and wide and on thousands of systems, uh, managing that and, and making it you know, keeping it working is a real challenge. And so we take all of that off the administrator's plate. So with our screwdriver solution, we have a virtual driver that can be used in a, in a VDI system uh, or really any kind of Windows uh, remote desktop environment. Uh, and that really delivers efficiency both for the admin and the user. For the admin, that's the one driver that is now installed in your virtual desktop image. You don't have to 
open up the image and copy the latest drivers or all the different drivers that might be used. It's one driver that's installed in that image, ready to go, usable for every user and every printer that might be uh, in your environment. Um, we also then, like I mentioned, have the ability to deploy drivers from our database. And we'll demo a little bit later. It's very easy, a drag and drop to assign a printer to a user or a group or a device. And then when they log in, our software takes care of getting the right driver and the right printer built for that user quickly um, and without hassle. And so that's a huge time savings. The other piece of that, besides just the driver management, is actually defining what printers that users get. And that's where that intelligence and the dynamic nature of this uh, really plays to both sides, the admin and the user. For the admin, I have an easy system to deploy based on a set of criteria, what device they're on, their AD group membership, that type of thing. So I have the tools at hand to make that easy. And from a user, I now log in, consistently get the right printer quickly and for my job and my location, and I have what I need. I'm not seeing a ton of printers. Um, uh, and we'll also show how if you do need an additional printer, we have self-service mechanisms. So I can open up, let's say, a map, see the building I'm in, click on the printer, add it dynamically in my system. It's there and ready for me to go. So it really just makes the whole, um, the whole system more productive, reduces help desk calls, saves time and money. Um, and it, it really is a great uh, improvement to old traditional methods of print management that are, are archaic by today's standards. Now, um, you, you kind of talked about your pro your technology, a little deeper dive into it and how it works. Um, you know, if if the folks here or they come by your booth at, at uh, VMware Explore, how would you say your I guess unique or position yourself as differentiated in the market compared to maybe some of the other booths they may come into contact with. Right. So I mentioned that virtual driver, that's a huge thing of what we do. And we've developed that for over 20 years. So we've really perfected it. We're a company that, that custom builds and delivers these kind of solutions. And even moving forward, we're a dedicated company to printing and scanning. So that compared to you know the built-in systems that might be slow to update, investing in the screwdriver solution really makes sure that you have the latest and best, and we'll continue to get that uh, as we go. So we'll talk about that virtual driver at our booth. Um, we're also a very unique company because in addition to the virtual driver, we can do native driver management. And so if you don't have print servers or you're eliminating print servers or in a hybrid scenario where you have more cloud systems, we can adapt to all these different types of environments. And so our real advantage is the variety that is offered in the solution. And so one of the things that we like to do at the booth, or if we're having a phone conversation or online, is really working with an individual to understand what is your environment right now? What are your challenges? And we're looking to layer on top our solution. We're not going to tell you, oh, you have to shoehorn over into this. We can layer our solution on top of what you have, even if it's a mix of technologies, platforms, cloud and on-prem, all these different things. So we can make sure to, to deliver a solution that works and is layered on top of the environment that you already have. And we can show and demonstrate um, how that would work inside your environment. Not every environment's the same. And so we have that set of solutions uh, that is the most adaptable uh, in these different environments and different scenarios. Are you making any announcements here at VMware Explorer? Anything new that you want to talk about? Yeah, we continue to update um, both our printing and, and scanning software. So uh, just within the last uh, last year or two, we've, re we've released uh, version 7 of screwdrivers, which was a major release for us. And we've continued to innovate on there. And so uh, this summer, we released uh, version 7.2 and just the other day, version 7.3. Uh, so some of the things that we we get into there are even more support for alternate platforms. So Mac OS has delivered, we've um, delivered quite a few updates for both the client and a full version of Screwdrivers Pro uh, for printer management on Mac. We've also invested a lot in uh, Linux clients. So if you have a client connecting in to a VDI system that's Linux based, we can we can accommodate that. And just here in version 7.3, uh, we announced the uh, Linux scanning client. So if you have printers or scanners connected to Linux endpoints, you can uh, now use those reliably in uh, a virtual desktop and a remote desktop system. 
Um, for printing, we now have the ability to do hold and release printing on any printer. Generally speaking, that's something that is a, a feature that might be on some of the printers in your environment. At our level, we can make it so that no matter what printer you're printing to, uh, you can do a hold, release, hold and release scenario. And then as we're looking forward, uh, development that continues here as we move through the year, we're, we're looking at a 7.4 release later in the year. Um, more um, integrations and capabilities within cloud infrastructures, uh, Azure and others, uh, doing print server management. And then also with um, single queue, kind of extending on that whole new release, being able to pick the printer uh, at release time. So even more flexibility to users on how admins want to deploy uh, out into their environment. So quite a few, both printing, scanning, and other platforms that we're adding in and enhancing uh, in these versions. Now, VMware, it's their show. They get to talk about big picture stuff on the uh, keynote stage. Uh, what big themes or trends heading into 2023 is your company most interested in? Yeah, it'll be um, great to see how they, um, how they phrase and how they show their vision moving forward. Uh, this is the first in-person event in a few years. So to have that energy of the on-stage keynote, I think will be uh, great for VMware. Um, and for, for all of us outside of VMware, interested to see uh, how they deliver that. So certainly how they really uh, enhance their core product of vSphere and those virtualization platforms, uh, dealing with cloud and hybrid environments. I mean, that's been happening for years, of course, uh, but we're still in that phase where, okay, everyone has some cloud, but now we're dealing with, there's still a lot of on-prem, what's the best mix? What are the different environments and scenarios? And so as they kind of explain that vision uh, and from Tricera's perspective as an EUC solution provider, um, where Horizon is, we see a lot of announcements still coming out about enhancements in Horizon. Actually, like I talked about Tricera really investing in Mac and Linux endpoints and clients. We see that in Horizon, they're showing a lot of those kind of improvements as well. Um, their protocols are, are getting better. And so we're really looking to see uh, what, what new announcements are, are in store for the Horizon customers. Well, we'd love to take a, a look at the product. Um, is there a way you could give us a quick demo and for the folks at home? Certainly. All right, so this is a Windows Virtual Desktop uh, that's running in the cloud actually. And so it has um, the Triceret Screwdrivers Professional installed uh, in this cloud desktop, and I've connected to it, of course, uh, from my local client. Uh, I just want to briefly show kind of the highlights and, and kind of a, a high-level overview of it. Uh, this is Screwdriver's administration. So in, from an admin perspective, you know, one of those real key points that we've talked about is the driver management capabilities and how you can deliver uh, print queues dynamically out to your users. And so I've, I have a couple of things already loaded in here. I have a few print servers that I've, I've defined. Uh, and we have a print server agent that goes out to the print server, queries all of the print queues that are on there, and gets all the information, reads it into the database that is the back end uh, for the screwdriver's product. So it's a very quick operation, and the admin has everything they need in here. And we've talked about how easy it is to drag and drop printers. So if I want to assign a printer, let's just say generically right now, to everyone on the domain, uh, it's a drag and a drop on this location. This is reading my Active Directory, and it prompts me to say, do I want to always show this printer or give the user some flexibility as far as if they want to allow, uh, add it or remove it? Uh, so I add it in here, and it's now added in, and so I can see printers that are defined, um, and when a user logs in with the screwdriver client installed, they'll get those print queues installed, ready to go in their system. That's, that's it. Uh, I can also see uh, OUs, group memberships for the Active Directory, so I can assign to any area of the directory. I can also make assignments over here, what we call network assignments. So I might make groups with IP ranges. I might also define thin client names. And so again, it's the same kind of drag and drop. Um, I assign this to a client, and now anyone logging in from that device will get that printer. So you can imagine a scenario like maybe a hospital system where someone might be roaming from client to client. And I want, when I log in or badge in and connect to my virtual desktop, I get the printers defined for the client here. So the printer that's right next to me, is ready to go. I hit print quick and easy. Hmm. Uh, this managed printers area is where we can define 
uh, using native drivers. So these are drivers and we have an import mechanism to import those drivers into the database. And from there, Tricer will take care of delivering those print drivers out to the right devices and uh, desktops uh, as they need it. So kind of to recap, a very quick and easy way to drag and drop assignments. Uh, there are other more advanced methods as far as like CSV imports, bulk assignments, uh, command line integration. So there are some advanced methods for mass importing these things in. So even if you have thousands, we have ways to get those in quickly and easily. And then you can imagine a help desk staff that might need to just quickly see uh, what a user has or add a new printer. Uh, that's a drag and drop operation and they're ready to go. And from the user perspective, if I look at the printers, these printers have built uh, locally for me as Windows print queues. You can see here the model with screwdrivers. It's using that virtual driver that was already installed on the image for this virtual desktop. Nothing else had to happen. The login was quick. The user got the right printer that they had for this login and the device I'm connecting from, and we're ready to print. The user does have uh, some additional flexibility with what we call screwdrivers printers. This is kind of the user-facing app. So I can see my printers. I can click the add printer. This is where what we just did, where it popped up and said, is it admin assigned or is it user configurable? If the admin's given permission for the user to add certain printers, they can do that here. And like we mentioned earlier, if I have a map of my office, I can come in, I see a printer here, I click on it, I can click add printer. And again, because of the virtual driver, we have what we need already on this desktop. There's not network copies going on or connections out anywhere else. You hit add printer, the metadata from the database, I get what I need, the printer's added, the printer's, the uh, user's ready to print very quickly and easily. So again, very high level in terms of the admin and user experience. There's obviously a lot more to the product uh, for both printing and scanning. Uh, adv advanced print features is a big thing. So even with that virtual driver, the user can access all aspects of uh, the print interface. Um, but kind of by design, it should fade in the background, layer on top of what you have and give real advanced capabilities uh, for both the admins and the users. Well, thanks for that great demo. Uh, where can people go if they wanna find out more information about Triceret and some of the things you talked about today? Well, we're very excited to be part of the VMware Explorer event. And so we'll be at booth. Um, sorry, let me look it up and make sure. We'll be at booth 1815. So uh, we certainly ask that if you're at the event, come by, say hello. We'll have these kind of demonstrations available there. Uh, but really, the opportunity of that event is just to have a, a brief conversation um, about perhaps uh, uh, struggles that you're having in your print and scan environment or ways that you're looking to really improve and make it better. And as you're looking to transition to some of the new platforms and capabilities, ways that we can adapt and really help achieve that vision for you. And so it would be great to have those conversations. After the event or anytime, of course, um, triceric.com on our website, we have some videos up for those kind of demonstrations. And we all the time uh, schedule one-on-one -on -one, uh, demos and uh, conversations where, again, we're looking not just to blast out, hey, this is the one, one way to do this. We want to have that engineering conversation, talk about your environment, and show ways uh, that the Tricerate screwdriver solution can really layer on and adapt and really enhance the solutions that you're providing out to your end users. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog today and uh, looking forward to the show. Great. So am I. Thank you so much. All right.